This is a tube that can uh, detect radioactivity. I don't know exactly what kinds of rays, radioactive rays, this tube can detect. So alpha or gamma, I don't know that exactly. I bought it in 1992 and it was made in France by Cere, uh, C-E-R-E. -E. And the principle from the radio activity detector is extremely simple. On the internet you can also find many uh, schematics etc etc. There is some tube here with an outer layer from metal or so and inside there is a wire and we add a high DC voltage to that wire. And when a radioactive particle enters the tube, it ionizes the gas inside here and that makes that uh, here we get conduction. So a very tiny current here during a very short time flows. And that means that we can connect this tube for instance, this is uh, connected to the wire, to an amplifier. And that amplifier, uh, we supply it with say 12 volt or so, don't know, don't know that exactly. And we hear, we hear a kind of click when a radioactive particle enters the tube and is able to ionize the gas inside. Of course, when you use a piece of uh, metal here, we have the atmospheric air in that tube. So I think that's not the ideal condition to ionize um, uh, the, the, the air inside the tube. A better condition is to make it all in a vacuum. No, this circuit works. You can find search on the World Wide Web and find many circuits where this is realized. Not very, um, not very difficult to make. Many simple circuits, but when, the, when there is a vacuum here inside the tube, and that's the case here, or perhaps, I don't know that exactly, this is a gas filled tube. So uh, that means, uh, again, other properties. When this tube is gas filled, uh, the ionization also has to do with the, the type of gas inside and the gas pressure inside, etc. etc. But uh, in, in general, we can say that uh, a gas in a vacuum tube ionizes more easily compared to air as it is here. So uh, this was the tube that I've used in the past. I've made a Geiger counter with the help of this tube. And it's in one of my books. But in fact it's very easy to make. This tube for instance needs a high voltage from approximately 1000 volts at the two electrodes. So then we have this situation, a vacuum tube, one electrode, another electrode, a vacuum or gas filled inside. When a radioactive particle enters this tube, the gas ionizes, uh, the conduction is low for a very very short time and we hear a click at the output from the amplifier here. So I hope uh, this was uh, um, interesting for everyone that wants to do experiments with uh, Geiger, Geiger teller tubes, Geiger counter tubes. You can f find these tubes sometimes on flea markets, radio amateurs flea markets. 
that's where I bought it too.